Hey everybody, welcome to the uh, very belated, uh, somewhat belated uh, Christmas episode. Some Christmas present, huh? So uh, every year we do a little bit of a gift exchange uh, on the show. So uh, eventually we will be uh, reviewing uh, 1792. I'm horrible with dates. Yeah, so, uh, but uh, why, why name a whiskey of something that nobody, who remembers numbers like that? Um, but uh, anyways, first we're going to do a little bit of a gift exchange. Uh, usually the goal of the gift exchange is if you can embarrass the person, great. But more importantly, it should be uh, entertaining for you viewers that we're giving these gifts. These gifts are more for entertainment value than anything. So uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to uh, hand out my gifts. And I've heard rumors that somebody has a gift for me. So uh, here we go. I have your plain white wrapping bag beat with this cardboard box. <laughs> and uh, I opened it well, and then I retaped it. So. No, well, now I'm going to have to uh, bring out my big fancy box cutter, also known as my house keys. Are we uh, digging in here or one at a time? We dig can... in. I think we should just dig All in. Right. Otherwise, it'll take forever. And those viewers will make comments about, oh my God, how boring. Adult Mad Libs. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is awesome. This is going to be interesting in tonight when I get home. <laughs> yes. This is awesome. Yes. This, this is, is awesome. This is just the most perfect book. I would never personally know from experience because I, I just think it's a bad idea to hold them in. Sheena. This could be very interesting. <laughs> so, uh, for those of you, uh, uh, those you viewers don't know that we before right before we recorded this episode, we ate a lot of Tex-Mex, which if you don't know what Tex-Mex is, it's basically wannabe white boy Mexican food. Yes, and uh, Mexican. there's... N if you eat if you eat a lot of Tex-Mex, after you eat a lot of Tex-Mex, we we personally at Nerds Drink Whiskey endorse the next morning you eat yeah. colon blow. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is super colon blow. So uh, yeah, this is this is Ed's gift to me. Um, I apologize for it, the damaged box. It, it, is this love the post? It, is this is this is this because you're you're saying that I, I might be getting old and and maybe, I, I need maybe. need something to keep clean, you know? And yeah, so uh, yes, thank you, Ed. Uh, I I need to uh, because I am old. Uh, I I need to drink. I need to eat that with almond milk. Uh, Metamucil. Yes. Oh, is it Metamucil? Just well, I think that you just sprinkle that on afterwards, maybe, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Is that a powder? But. So, uh, all right, uh, anybody, uh, uh, Jeff, uh, wh what did you get? I got a uh, Jalen Silent Bob reboot poster. Awesome. Very Which, nice. Very nice. Yeah. I am very sorry that I missed him while he was in town. Uh, uh, no, he's coming to not, Olympia. Well, no, as in I missed the tickets that I can afford for when he is in town. Oh, yeah. oh, are they, are they sold out now? The, well, the, they, the, the, the cheap seats sold out. The VIP hundred and ten dollars a person seats were yeah, still available a couple of weeks later when I actually had a chance to go online and check. Wow! So, so I was uh, not willing to spend one hundred and ten dollars for. So, so a note to to bigger celebrities that are trying to do the tour thing. Uh, Kevin Smith sold out pretty much sold out a thousand seat venue in Olympia. So you, you, more of you need to come to Olympia. It, it, we can we can fill a, a space. So, uh, yes, I was willing yeah. to spend 50 bucks for the wife and I. I was not willing to spend 110 for each of us. Yeah, it's so a bit steep. That's why that's I That's a little go. high. Yeah. I, I, bought the, I bought the VIP, the low-end VIP, just because it got you uh, closer to uh, the stage. So that, that's the only reason I did that. I ended up getting the VIP, too, myself. So I'm going to end up getting the photo op with, with uh, Kevin Smith. And I believe Jason Muse actually might be there. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be very interesting. Cool. And, and you, uh, you got you got you got Mad Libs. Uh, I got adult. I got adult Mad Libs. This is going to actually be very interesting, given uh, what. Uh, well, when this actually airs, it will have already happened. But uh, I'm getting married, so that'll be very interesting. Congratulations! Thank you. Yeah, so that'll be coming out at your bachelor party, is what you're saying? Something like that. <laughs> And, and Ed, Ed, uh, I think it's very fitting that you ended up uh, with the present that you got. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, what, can holding enough for it kill you? 
Let's see what the back says here. Insane and inquisitive. Uh, you, you might want to get your closer to your mic. I don't know if that's going to pick up. You people love to be away from your mics, and trust me, it doesn't I used to work mind that way. Me where I'm like from here to past the camera. Yeah, so, yeah. So. It's <clears throat> insane and inquisitive, enthralling and enriching. This collection of puzzling, and compelling trivia will all astonish you with its sensational and unique revelations. I think these are other books here. What makes popcorn pop? Why do dogs walk in circles before lying down? Is, Ju is Jurassic Park possible? But this, like I said, can holding in a fart kill you? Is there any... I, I don't know. I think we might lose our uh, all ages tag if we read any of those. Yeah. Yeah. I don't so, know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure your but, kid's uh, going to ask you that. What are the harmful point? side yeah. effects of cocaine? Yeah, but yeah, we, yeah. we should read this one. <laughs> <laughs> There's harmful side effects to cocaine. It's not that I ever know. How come no one had already told me? Really? Um, so, uh, all right. Uh, now, uh, Ed, I don't know how much you're comfortable with talking about, but uh, sadly, uh, we are losing a family member uh, for Nerds Drink Whiskey. Uh Due to health reasons, your doctor has told you uh, to massively cut down on your alcohol consumption. Uh, how how much are not you that comfortable? I drink that much anyway. Right, it's not about it's not yeah. from heavy drinking. <laughs> it's not you know uh, cocaine or it, 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 it's it's just not sometimes anymore. as we all get older we have health problems and some of them say we can't drink milk anymore. We can't drink uh, whiskey. You know, so sadly his is whiskey. Uh, but uh, how 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 much are you comfortable with talking about? Oh, I'm perfectly comfortable. Basically, what's going on is um, I have a small issue with my liver, and it's not like, oh, if you take a drink, you're going to die, or, or you're going to die anyway, or whatever. It's just, it's more preventative at this point. Don't drink. Don't take alcohol. Don't, uh, don't take acetaminophen, Tylenol. That sort of thing. Things that could, over time, damage your liver. Uh, a little sip here and there will not kill me i even had a little soju last night when i was at the korean place so but just a little okay. so today i'm gonna have just a little and uh but that's about it i don't drink at home anymore i didn't drink that much at home anyway so uh and uh because we we all get bored uh doing nothing you actually have started your own thing uh vile villain and so where can people find you uh, now that you will not be on Nerds Drink Whiskey near enough? Because let me make it clear on something. Once you're Nerds Drink Whiskey, you're always Nerds Drink Whiskey. Uh, Michael Arms has not been on an episode of this show uh, visually in, in like you know years, but his theme song that he wrote for us has been part of the show uh, since then. And the second that boy can get his solo album done, uh, we will Skype him in and feature him. And, and even though he hasn't been on the show in uh, hundreds of episodes, uh, he's still part of the family. Uh, so Ed will still be piping in here and there. He's still, uh, we're still friends. Um, most of the guys on this show were friends of mine years before we started the show. The only one that, the only one that, uh, basically I got, I got acquainted with because of the show is Jeff here. Um, you know, I think these guys have been, we've been friends for what, about 25 years? At least, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it, it, the friendship continues. He just, uh, uh, despite what a uh, buddy is, uh, uh, we don't want to kill him. So that, that's pretty much it. So, uh, uh, but talk about Vile Villain and where, where people can find you now. Okay, well, Vile Villain, I uh, am now doing my own show. It's called Vile Villain, and I review, to I review toys. Uh, lots of Funko Pops. There's other toys like Star Wars and Marvel. That sort of thing. Um, I'm also uh, starting. I've also started a business selling toys. That sort of thing. But it can be found at vilevillain.com. And uh, go on YouTube, watch my show. If you like it, give it a subscribe, like, comment, whatever. You know. And uh, we might even be cross-referencing some stuff between the show and Vile Villain. I think it's a very nerdy thing to do crossover episodes. I think yeah, so. Yeah. So. Uh, Absolutely. Um, all right. Well, uh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna uh, sample the. Let me see if I can do it by memory. 1792. Did you get it right? Yeah. The, hey, I remembered it. Do you remember why it's called that? Because uh, that's when whiskey first came to America, or something. I, no, that's when Kentucky joined the Union. Oh, okay. All right. So. Uh, yeah, that was yeah. when it became a state. I also suck at history, obviously. So uh, yeah. Yeah, good. Uh, so, uh, anyways, uh, we're gonna we're gonna sample some whiskey and uh, dark helmet. Do your thing. 
ludicrous speed. <laughs> Well, uh, I, I, I think we should have our guest go first. Okay, uh, I'll Ed. down the book. Yeah, yeah. The section on why do dogs sniff each other's behinds. <laughs> and this is the reason why it could be a little hard to give up drinking. I like this. This is really good. It's got a good sweet, but it's got a good punch. Um, typical bourbon, right? This is bourbon, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Uh, th this is straight bourbon, which means it was aged at least two years. Yeah, very good caramel flavor, and that extra. But what is the uh, the proof on this? Because it's a higher proof. Ninety four. Ninety four. Or ninety four. Yeah. 94. Yeah. So excellent. I give it a thumbs up. Okay. Okay. For me, I think this is really a very very good bourbon. I think uh, it's got a very uh, good round sweetness to it. Um, a real full body as far as the flavor goes. Um. The mouthfeel is not overbearing at all. It uh, makes uh, kind of your cheeks warm. But uh, other than that, it's not bad at all. And then the finish is a little light, but uh, still not unpleasant. Sweet Christmas. Ed. He 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 like he's never toys. he's never he's never been able to behave himself. So you know, <laughs> Jeff. Uh, yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, I like the flavor. Uh, I don't really like the nose on it, although actually it smells a little bit better than the last one because of the hundred proof. The alcohol, if you're not careful, you get the shot of alcohol up your nostrils and it just burns your sinuses. And um, but uh, yeah, no, it's good flavor. Flavorful, um, yeah. Like I said uh, before, I kind of like the low 90s as far as proof. Um, so it's got enough bite, but enough warmth. It doesn't feel too watered down. Um, yeah, I like the flavor. Okay. Um, now for me, I, I think these guys were all more impressed with it than than I was. Uh, it's not bad. It's definitely good. Uh, it's. Uh, I've always said, you know, when it comes to music. Uh, there's really only three kinds of music. There's the kind of music that makes you run to the radio to turn it off. Uh, the kind that makes you just go, eh, this is okay. Yeah, I, I can deal with this. And the kind that makes you run to the radio to crank it. Uh, this is, uh, uh, in the bourbon, this is kind of a, eh, yeah, this is good. I, I like it. You know, it's there's nothing, there's no prominent notes that stand out for me. Um, there's nothing exceptional about it. Uh, but it is a good, solid bourbon. Um, it is, uh, this is, this is definitely a bourbon I will be drinking on, uh, those, those harder work days. Uh, and, uh, I, I like it. It's, it's good. Yeah, um, it's just not, but I would not say it's phenomenal. It's not, uh, exceptional. It's just, it's just good. Yeah. I would say this isn't one of the songs you crank, but it is the one, the one of the ones you would sing along with the words. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of on the higher end of. Uh, it's kind of on the on the. It's right before. It's, it's almost good enough. Almost good enough to run to the radio and, and crank it. So, yeah. you know, it's uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, it's kind of on the high end of that that middle middle staging. So, uh, uh, it's good. I like it. It's it's solid, um, but it's just not exceptional. So, uh, yeah. Um, how about real quickly? Real quickly. Uh, Without looking at the price, we'll put the price uh, down below, but uh, how much do you think is reasonable to pay for this bottle of whiskey? I would say, since it's a higher proof, 60 Okay. I'd probably say 55 $65. I think the fancy bottle might bump it up $10. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if it's forty instead of cap as well. Okay, I, I'm I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the negative nanny here, uh, negative Nancy, uh, and I'm gonna say uh, this is a thirty dollar bottle of bourbon. Oh, I so, think it's uh, a thirty dollar bottle. I think they charge forty. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. okay, all right, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, so this what is I think yeah. It's worth and what I said is too right. No, no, no. Yeah, no. What you think is worth? That's the I question. Worth, yeah. I go fifty bucks on this since okay. it is the yeah. higher alcohol content but nothing more than that ever. Yeah. 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 If you're right. going for what it's worth, I'd say this is probably about a forty dollar bottle for me. Yeah. Yeah. So all right. Well uh 
check out Vile Villain at vilevillain.com. Check the show links. Uh, we got in the show notes, uh, we got links to it. Uh, we also uh, want you to check out uh, Fuel Your Fandom. Uh, we got Kevin Saint uh, waiting in the wings, uh, and uh, he's, he stepped out so that Ed could step in. We don't, my living room is only so big. And uh, But anyways, we hope you have a happy holidays. Merry Christmas, sir. Merry Christmas to you. Uh, and remember, the reason we say happy holidays is because we just don't have that kind of time. There's just too much to celebrate. So celebrate in full. Uh, and and uh, there's a few Krampus fans here on the stage. And I know that the 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 legend is is that Krampus comes out on December fifth and he takes away all the bad little boys and girls and leaves their parents a lump of coal. That's the legend. I also believe that he takes all the adults who slam their whiskey and don't sip good whiskey and enjoy it and and savor it the way they should. So wait. You mean I could have traded a little brat for some actual useful coal? I know. What, you know, uh, <laughs> so makes me want to have kids now, you know? Uh, keep, stay warm. So uh, the, my wife just did in the background. I said, no, no, not even for the coal. Uh, so uh, anyways, we'll see you uh, uh, in the new year uh, on Nerds Drink Whiskey. <laughs>